I'm Bill Wong, Electronic Design Technology Editor. I'm here speaking with Sterling Hunter, Manager of the A160 Business Development Group at Boeing. So this is uh, the A160. It is part of the uh, newly created organization within Boeing, our Airborne Unmanned Systems uh, Division. And uh, we're based out in, uh, the A160 is based out in California. This uh, vehicle has been under development uh, with DARPA and uh, SOCOM uh, for a number of years now, and it's gone through a number of configurations. The Hummingbird, as you can see, it's uh, it's a little bigger than the name might suggest. Uh, a lot of people are, are, are uh, surprised when they see how big it is. Uh, the, the technology behind the Hummingbird is its optimum speed rotor, and uh, the optimum speed rotor is something that allows it to uh, stay in the air, and we've, we've had flights, uh, actually a world record flight of 18.7 hours, and that included a 300-pound payload and, uh, and, and fuel left over. So the, the whole idea of this is uh, long endurance, essentially giving you fixed wing type of performance, but with the versatility of a, uh, with a, a vertical takeoff and landing uh, vehicle. It is uh, essentially all composite. It's very lightweight. It is very stiff. Optimum speed rotor is, uh, at the core of it, it is a, a stiff rotor system. Um, and uh, what that allows you to do, uh, without going into too much physics, is to be able to uh, alter, alter the uh, and reduce the uh, RPMs of the rotor, and and that's essentially what gives you the endurance. And uh, but in order to all helicopters uh, spin at a constant rate. Uh, this one is, you know, by virtue of being able to reduce its RPMs, essentially saves on fuel, the, the drag of the blades and, and whatnot. Uh, it optimizes the speed of the rotor. And to do that, you need everything really stiff to, uh, to counteract any resonances that are created otherwise on other helicopters. So, but by making it real stiff and, and the design of the blades, it is also very quiet. So that's a, that's a byproduct that uh, is uh, proving very useful in, uh, in going forward with, with customers and, uh, and, and using it in the field. You mentioned before when I was talking with you about a two-speed rotor. Why are you using one of those? In order to uh, reduce the, uh, the RPMs of the rotor blades, um, we have a turboshaft engine in there which uh, essentially needs to uh, spin at uh, certain speeds all the time. So what we've done is uh, created a two-speed uh, transmission. And uh, it's, it's, I'm not going to say it's similar to ones you find in automobiles, but it's, it's essentially it changes gears and it changes gears in flight. And, uh, and autonomously, it'll calculate when the best time to change the gears is for any given flight condition, say for hover, high speed with, uh, with, with altitude or not altitude and, and things like that. So.